can see, um, I, I'm putting paper around the area because I noticed that there were like black stuff coming out of the car, and I don't want to like dam damage paint or anything. So just to be um, protective, I'm just putting stuff here. So yeah. Finally went through. Finally went through. All right. Now um, let's finish the rest. As you can see, um, it took a very long time. Like seriously, it fits. I mean, I had to take. It took me a long time to trim it. I mean, it didn't fit the first time, obviously, because I cut cut it smaller. But man, it took so long. But yeah, it fits. Make sure um, when you're when, you, when it fits, um, you want to um, clean this with water with all this, um, this dust right here. And after you clean the water, you want to go over with touch-up paint that matches your car. The reason why you add touch-up paint on these edges so that it doesn't rust or it doesn't crack away. All right. So yeah, remember to add touch-up paint, and then after that, just put the harness in, like like this is what I did. Put the harness in and just stick it in, because we can take care of the wires later after we um, after we take apart the, um, the carriage right there. So just stick the wires in when you're done. But remember to paint first and everything. Yeah. Um, right now, I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna do the other side right now, and um, let me see how long it took me to do that. It took me about 45 minutes to do that entire this one entire hole. 45 minutes, yeah, it's pretty long. I have to trim everything, so yeah, I'm gonna do the other side right now. And here's the second one. I just finished it. Man, I tell you, I think that um, the second one is I is a little bit quicker, like about 10 to 15 minutes quicker. I guess because I already had experience with the first one. And um, if you look really closely, there was no goo at all from the tape. It was much cleaner also. I don't know, it must be an experience. But um, I haven't put it on the, um, the paint yet, but I'll do that right now. My goodness, dude. That looks freaking amazing. It looks amazing. Holy crap. Alright, what you want to do is um, remove these bolts right here. Um, we'll remove the splash shield. And behind the splash shield, we'll um, reveal the wires of the new um, side markers. And then um, I'll probably do it first. No, I'll, I'll be back. I just got all the bolt, bolt, bolts, and these right here, they came from like one of these upper ones, and they are very hard to take off. I had to use a plier to get it off, the thinnest plier I could find. But yeah, it is a snap-on, so use your force, it's a snap-on. But yeah, so I'm gonna use, right now I'm gonna use speaker wire to, um, to run the wire from the the marker all the way over. Oh yeah, by the way, make sure you get a thicker wire. At least the same thickness of what the markers are because you don't want it um, to overheat and catch on fire. Something like that, I don't know, but yeah. Okay, so here I got the wire. Speaker wire hooked up to the marker light, um, side marker lights. And um, here's a hint. When you want to put in the markers, you should hook it up to the speaker wire or what wire you, whatever wire you're using and feed it through the hole because I did not do that and it took me a long time to connect the bolts in there because it's too deep but yeah um, I have my wire right here um, but first to get to the parking lights and signal lighting lights you gotta turn the steering wheel all the way to the right the instruction booklet says to remove this panel right here and you should reveal a black green and red wire. Those are the wires for the signaling light. Um, the tutorial says the tutorial says to um, it says 
There is two versions of signaling, a USDM and a JDM. I don't even know how there's a, even a USDM signaling like when there's no such thing as a side marker on a 96 to 2000 Civic. You probably just made it up because there's no such thing. But yeah, which is good. we're going to go to JDM because it looks better. But yeah, it's a little past 5 o'clock in the morning. I just um, cleaned the garage so my dad wouldn't kill me, but I just finished putting my car together. Here's how it looks with the headlights on. It's amazing. Yeah. Turn signals. When the headlights are on, this is what the turn signals look like. Alternating. Get the hazards. Alternating hazards. When the headlights are off, it's different. Together. Looks amazing. Hazard, headlights off. Hazard, headlights off. Synchronized. This is what the car looks like in the light. It's looking more and more like the replica now. Um yeah, the first remember when I cut it the first time I was like I was gonna cry. And it's like putting a hole in your freaking car. Didn't know it was gonna turn out like this. It looks so freaking amazing.